Curling fans filed into Sandman Centre carrying signs, flags and cowbells on Saturday afternoon, ready to cheer for their teams on the second last day of the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. I'm here from Vancouver, yeah. I have some friends who've gotten very into curling um, and so uh, yeah, we decided to make the trip out here. It's, it's pretty great. It's, uh, there's a lot of you know, people dressing up and there's a lot of, a lot of cowbells and noisemakers and it's just a, a great fun uh, wholesome but but fun experience. I think the ambiance, it's been really fun. It's a super fun crowd. Um, it's very social. The patch has been really fun and the curling has been great. This is the first Scotties held since 2020 with fans in the arena and Curling Canada officials say it's been a success. Last year in Thunder Bay, we had to close the doors. We had the bubble in Calgary. So this is the first one since 2020. So a little bit of uncharted water since then um, and Kamloops as I knew it would, as a proud Kamloops boy myself, I knew it would respond and the city really has. The buzz uh, is, is very cool and, and the players coming off the ice when we talk to them here, they just can't stop gushing about it. Like they're just so happy to be able to play and it raises their game. So it's a key element, right? Over 300 volunteers took part in helping the 10 day tournament run smoothly, playing the role of ambassadors, not just for the event, but for the city itself. According to a member of the host committee, visiting athletes are enjoying their time in Kamloops. We were in the patch last night at the Kamloops Curling Club and um, many of the teams have said, came and embraced it and they said, we want to move here. It's so amazing and the city is so beautiful, the mountains and everything else. And everybody has been kind, the restaurants, the fans, lots of very positive comments. There's only one day left in the tournament with the semi-final and final games scheduled for Sunday. Information about tickets and other event details can be found on Curling Canada's website. For Castanet Kamloops, I'm Kristen Holiday.